Now that all 1500 iterations have been completed, let's try to determine if our solution has converged sufficiently. In the results section of Fluent, click on Reports, choose Fluxes, and then click on Setup. Select Mass Flow Rate, and then highlight Inlet, Inlet Top, and Outlet. Then click Compute. So here we see that mass is balanced, which is a one good indication that our model is good. So next we're going to look at our surface pressure. So here you can look at the convergence of the surface pressure graph, um, but this graph only appears right after you've, or during your um, iterations. So to actually have more options in looking at this graph, you can go into plots right here. And we're going to choose file and click setup. And now we have to go find the file plot that it has saved. So we're going to go and click add. And so here we have our file, which is surface monitor one dot out. Click OK. And now we're going to click plot. So you might think that the surface pressure um, converged, but this is actually misleading because the y-axis has a very big range. Um, so it's better if we can uh, narrow it down to this range. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into axes. And then we're going to select Y. We're going to unselect auto range. And here we can input the minimum and maximum for the range. Um, let's start with a minimum of negative 200,000. And a maximum of 200,000. Then click apply. And close. Now I can click plot again. So don't mind this section because it simply got cut off by the range that we inputted. Um, but here we see that it looks pretty good. It looks like it converged. Um, but how about we narrow it down further? So we're going to change the range again to a minimum of negative uh, 100,000 and a maximum of zero. Well, now we can clearly see that our integral static pressure has converged to a value between about negative 7,000 and negative 8,000 pascals. So we're therefore confident that we have iterated enough and thus we can better trust our results that we will next look at in CFD post. Okay, so we'll save our project now.